The Colorado Buffaloes took care of business against the previously undefeated UCF Knights in an intra-conference college football showdown on Saturday, beating its fellow Big 12 squad 48-21. After the game, Colorado coach Deion Sanders gushed about his team and how they handled a unique week after having to change their travel plans due to Hurricane Helene. We worked out butts off this week, Sanders told the Fox Sports reporter after the game. We had a little, few distractions because of the storm, so we had to get there early. So, that gave us really intent focus because it was just with the team. No family, there was no nothing and we just locked in and focused. This is one of the first times that offensively, defensively, as well as special teams we came all at the same time. Collectively, Dion continued. I'm proud of the coaches. I'm proud of the young men and all our believers. I'm so proud of these young men. You have no idea. In the Colorado football win over UCF, Deion Sanders' stars showed up big. His quarterback and son, Shadur Sanders, was 28 of 35 for 290 passing yards with three touchdowns and one interception. He also added 30 yards on the ground. The Buffalo's Heisman Trophy candidate, cornerback slash wide receiver Travis Hunter, led the team with nine catches and had 89 yards and a TD while fellow WR Will Shepard led the team in receiving yards with 99 on four catches. Hunter also added to his Heisman candidacy with an interception on defense, and his fellow CB Preston Hodge also picked off UCF signal caller KJ Jefferson. The win moves the Colorado football team to 4-1 to on the season. It also ties them with BYU at 2-0 in Big 12 play although the Cougars are 5-0 overall. Utah, Cincinnati, Texas Tech, and West Virginia are all just a half game back at 1-0 in Big 12 play as of Saturday evening. Colorado had the next Saturday off and returns to a huge college football game on October 12th against number 23 Kansas State, a team that will have an even better ranking next week after beating number 20 Oklahoma State on Saturday afternoon.